Yo, what up is Don? Sammy V here. Soul Brothers. Soul Brothers. Of course, back up in it. Um, we got another kind of kind of top video for you. Yes. Okay, this is shoes you can you can rock off court. Basketball shoes you can rock off court. Um, we're factoring in looks, but also comfort. Very important is comfort. Yes. Right, so we have uh, how many shoes? Top five. And if you guys want to copy any of these, we will leave a description. Uh, we we will leave links in the description box below. And uh, make sure you guys are on bell notifications because yes. a lot of you guys have been telling us that you guys haven't been getting videos. We post every single day. We post twice nine a day. videos a day. Two There's videos no a day. There's no reason you shouldn't be seeing our videos. I've never missed a day. So um, yeah, you guys shouldn't be missing videos. But you guys have been telling us it. Well, how come you guys didn't post today or whatever? So. Um, yeah, go to our page and then click that bell thing so it's notified and then you'll get notifications when we post a video. Yeah. Alright, so let's get right into the uh, video. So the list, number five, is the Harden. Mm -hmm. You know, of course, um, for, for me, I don't like to have mids or highs at all when I'm walking casually. Yeah. Because it's not comfortable. All of these shoes are lows and the Harden is a low. The Boost is a very comfortable. Um, the only thing is, uh, the leather, it's, it, you still have to break it in, and then like, it, it digs into your, uh, into your toe and stuff, but once you break that in, it gets more comfortable, and, um, yeah. It, it's a dope looking shoe. Yes, there you go. You know, the Pioneer colorway is dope. All the colorways <clears throat> so far have been pretty, pretty cool. Yes. Um, so, and it's got some boost in the heel, so you get a little bit of action. It's got them some heel in the boost. Yeah, it's got some heel in the boost. So, you know, not a bad pick for yes. off-court, for sure. Yes. All right, now moving on to number four is the PG-1s. The PG-1, uh, the fit is what makes it so freaking comfortable for me for some reason. I don't know why. But um, other than that, uh, the cushion, everything is so-so. Mm -hmm. But it looks dope as a shit. Yeah. You know? So that's why we put it up there above yep. the Hardens. I think it looks better than the Hardens, in my opinion. But, yeah, um, yeah so that's number four. Moving on to number three mm -hmm. is the Kobe 11. Kobe 11. I, I would go just the standard Elite. Uh, I think it looks a little better, the fly knit. Mm -hmm. But even the, the EMs are cool too. EMs, I, I think the EMs look dope. They do look dope yeah. and they're a little more minimal. They feel yeah. a little better on the foot. But the Kobe 11s, if you like the fly knit, there's some really crazy colorways. Yeah, the, the pattern is dope. Yeah, so um, that's... All you know, Kobe's for a long time have been rockable off court. I don't know why. It's, I think it's because it's so light and minimal that yeah. it makes it so comfortable. You yeah. know, it's not like it's not like the cushion is so amazing or yeah. anything. And the fit is crazy. Yeah. So and you just got a little bit of lunar lawn under your foot, which bit. isn't bad. If you get yeah, the normal leads, you get a little bit of zoom in your heel. Yeah. So that's cool. All right. So um, three to five, three, four, and five, the shoes that we named already. Uh, I think you can just interchange yeah. them either way but then the next two number one and number two are on a whole different level and i think you can interchange them um, either way so yeah. um but here is the list number two is the kd9 mm -hmm. looks great it looks amazing i mean the fly knit looks really dope yes. it's low right so it, it almost looks like a like almost like a runner or kind of like a mellow casual shoe but it's a but it's an amazing ball shoe and yes. just that zoom under your foot. A full length zoom is, is nice. the next next level. And it's not too crazy expensive. It's one fifty. So um, it's also not crazy hot. Yeah. Which is good. You know what I mean? It's not the upper isn't crazy supportive. It's still kind of thin and, and, and light and minimal. So yeah, that's that's a big uh, number two. Yes. Now moving on to number one, it is the crazy explosive low prime knit. Explode. I mean, you, you can also get the regular version too, too. Those are super comfortable. They're just a little more ugly. Yes. Is the problem. The but as far as comfort, man, you can't be, can't be beat. Yes. All right. Full, um, length, full length boost, very plush. The material, the prime knit is very soft. Breaks in very nicely. Um, the only problem is it, it's, it's pretty hot. The yeah. prime knit version. It's like a sweater on your foot. Yeah, so that's my only problem. But other than that, it's amazing. It looks dope and super duper comfortable. I mean, the all whites look like... It looks like Yeezys. If they look like Yeezys. Yeah. I mean, it looks like uh, basketball. If you told me this is, oh, this is a new basketball Yeezy, I'd be like, oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Right? So, um, also not crazy expensive. 140 You know, the whites are a little... They look sick, but like... They get dirty quick. Yes. And especially with this cloth, it's hard to clean. So, 
that's it. Those are the most comfortable, we think, dopest shoes to rock off court as of right now. Um, again, if you want to cop these, the links are all below. Make it easy for you. Um, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Soul Brothers. Later. Peace.